Today we'll look at the bare bones of the automatic transmission. The model we're using is the Allison 1000. The automatic transmission has three main parts that connect to one another. These are the input shaft, the intermediate shaft, and the output shaft. The input shaft is always rotating. This is because the engine crankshaft is always turning the torque converter, which is always turning the input shaft. But that doesn't mean that the intermediate or output shaft will turn automatically to move your vehicle. In order to turn the output shaft, the transmission needs two more components to get the wheels rolling. It needs either the C1 housing or C2 housing to engage. C1 is connected directly to the intermediate shaft. Once C1 is engaged with clutch packs, it'll connect power from the input shaft to the output shaft. C1 engages gears 1 to 3. It's used for underdrive. C2 is connected to the P3 carrier system. Once the C2 housing engages with the clutch packs, it will connect power to the P3 carrier. P3 carrier will rotate and cause the planet and sun gear to rotate as well. This is an indirect connection to the intermediate shaft. C2 engages gears 5 and 6. It's used for overdrive. When C1 and C2 are both applied at the same time, we get gear 4, which produces direct drive. And that's it. This is the basic setup just to move the vehicle. Once C1 or C2 is engaged, it allows the input shaft to deliver power to the intermediate shaft, which then transfers that power to the output shaft. In the next video, we'll put all of this together to show you how each gear is selected using clutch packs. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and like. Make sure to share this video. This is Automotive for Beginners, and we'll see you in the next one.